Joe Biden won the 2020 election, and every investigation into that election has shown that it was fair, accurate, and secure. With that out of the way, I want to talk about Patel Patriot, also known as John Harold, and his buzzword, devolution. Now, you might not have seen this buzzword spread around much, but trust me, it's going to go places the crazies are going to eat it up. Now, what is this guy? Who is this guy? Well, he was a fundraiser for a Catholic school, and according to sources in the Daily Dot article here, he's making five figures a month making up devolution misinformation, and according to a source, he quit his job to make more of that misinformation. Now, where is he making his money? Well, some of the money is through his substack here with thousands of paid subscribers. I believe it's $10 a month. And he, you know, does some YouTube appearances. I don't know if he's being paid, but you'll notice they aren't getting a lot of views. Trust me, I expect that to change. Now, what is it he is doing? Patel Patri is the creator of the Devolution series. Patel begins discussing the playbook on how the deep state was preparing to steal the election. They had four different scenarios. Trump decided to walk away, which the deep state never expected. We are now in the middle of continuity of government, and Trump is acting like an advisor to the military, they caught all the information, and Durham is ready to produce hard evidence of treason. Everything is prepared. The stage is set, and the end of the deep state will cease to exist. And you hear that, and you go, Q nutters, right? Well, yes, it's the same idea, but it's devolution. It's a new buzzword. They can now use that buzzword and try to push it. They tried to push things like Trump derangement syndrome at one point for why people didn't like him. And now they've gone more for mass formation psychosis. They got to get a buzzword in there. Now, if you see here, there is devolution.link. Let's go there. It has the transfer or delegation of power to a lower level, especially by central government to local or regional officials. The devolution series, as you can see, quite a bit, quite a bit. And he has a telegram as well. And as you can see, it's just nonsense. Just constant, constant nonsense. And advertising himself by going on as many shows as he can and trying to push his nonsense. And I think it's going to work. I really do think it's going to work. That's the sad part about this. I fully expect end of January, maybe February, we're going to see this man and devolution take as much of a trip maybe he'll be on joe rogan and he's just going to make a ton of money spreading misinformation and honestly i think he knows it's misinformation personally i think he knows it and he just knows from being a fundraiser that this is easy money 